How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to print step-by-step -step from an iPhone or from an iPad to a Canon printer. This will work if you want to print documents, shipping labels, or even if you want to print photos. This is a great skill to know for home or office use. This will work with a lot of models of Canon printers. Specifically, we're going to be working on the Canon PIXMA G4210, but it will work with a lot of other models of Canon. There's so much overlap, so you should have have no problem if you follow this tutorial. So printing from an iPhone or an iPad is actually a lot easier than people think. All you're going to need is a Wi-Fi capable Canon printer because this is a Canon specific tutorial. You're going to need an iOS device because this is an iOS specific tutorial and you're going to need a Wi-Fi network in order to connect your printer to and in order to connect your iOS device to. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the printer. The first step is getting your printer connected to the Wi-Fi. It must be a Canon wireless capable printer for the scope of this video. Just to check to see if your printer is connected to Wi-Fi, you can press one of these four buttons here and it pops up with this Wi-Fi icon as well as some signal bars. It'll pop up for a couple seconds and it'll disappear, meaning that your printer is connected to a Wi-Fi network. If you aren't connected to Wi-Fi and need to see how, I will be coming out with the how to set it up to Wi-Fi tutorial tomorrow. There will be a link to it in the description and also in the corner. So make sure to check that out if you have not already connected your printer to Wi-Fi. Now that we are on Wi-Fi, we need to go to our mobile phone and make sure that it is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the printer. Most people only have one Wi-Fi network at their house, so make sure that your Wi-Fi is on your device and you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can see your network if you go to settings and then it will say right here what Wi-Fi network you are connected to. Ours is eight foot ceiling. Now that we are connected to the Wi-Fi on our phone, I'm gonna take you guys into the phone and show you step by step. So there's two ways how to print on an iOS device. The first one we're going to do is the easiest and that is just printing via the native features of the iPhone. Do not have to download any software. We're gonna navigate to the document that we are going to print, and mine is in our files folder. It is this women's specialization program. It is a PDF, and we want to print this program week two workout. We just wanna print that one page. We don't wanna print the whole 94 pages. We just wanna bring the workout with us to the gym. So we're just going to print that page. Tapping on the screen to get this menu to pop up, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it may be in a different spot on an iPad, but on this phone, it's down here in the bottom left. It's a square with an up arrow. We're going to tap that, and we're going to scroll down to print. Tap print and it pops up with this page. It already selected my Canon G4010 printer. If it did not populate your printer name, then you're going to tap that, see if your printer is discovered and then pick the printer you wanna print from. Right now it's set up to print all of the pages which is a ton of wasted paper, wasted ink. We're not gonna do that, we're just going to go to options, we're gonna to go to range, and we're going to pick, I think it was page 45. So we're going to go to range and we're going to print page 45 to page 45. It's only gonna use one piece of paper. It's only gonna use a little bit of ink and it's not going to waste that much. We also are just going to print it in black and white. That's how you change that. If you need to print a color document, you would leave it as color, but we just wanna print it in black and white and then we're going to hit print. It sent the print job from the phone to the printer and you wanna make sure your printer was loaded, otherwise it might pop up with an error on the screen or on your phone. But once that print job goes through the printer, we have our beautifully printed black and white document that we sent from the phone. This is applicable to documents. You can do the same thing with photos. You can do the same thing with shipping labels. Whatever document from your phone that you're sending to your printer it would be all through this one process. 
Now I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth. We're going to go back to the phone and I'm gonna show you guys the Canon app, which gives you a lot more features and customizations. So we're going to open up the app store and type in Canon print and it comes up with this Canon print inkjet selfie app. We're going to hit download or get whatever you gotta press, let it scan your face, put in your password and download that app. We're going to open that app and it's asking me if enable Bluetooth, we can say okay, agree to their terms of service, allow while using the app. Do you wanna search for printers? Yes, it hit me with an ad, we're gonna X out of the ad. Okay, and now it's searching for printers on my network through the app. There it is, the Canon G4010, or whatever your printer is named, and then I'm gonna click on that and it's going to acquire printer information. And now it says, you're all set, choose your favorite photos and try out the printer. I'm just gonna hit cancel, I'm gonna show you guys this app a little bit. It's pretty simple. It has a built-in scan function, which allows you to scan from the printer, which is a little bit nicer of an image that you're gonna get on the flatbed scanner rather than just like taking a picture of the document. So that's how you would do that. I'm gonna cancel that. It was actually scanning on my printer. And then it has all of these settings that you can use for the scanner. You have the copy machine functions right there. You can tell the printer to make copies. You have this smartphone copier, which will allow you to take a picture and send it to the printer to print as like a copy using the phone on your camera. But you're probably here most likely to see photo print, which is nicer to do through the app than it is just through the square with the up arrow natively on the Apple devices. So we're going to allow access to all photos and I'm going to and I'm going to select a cute picture of my niece wearing my sandals. We're going to select that, go to next. And right here, it gives us a lot more flexibility than it would if we were just trying to print this and through the iOS printing. I could crop the image however I wanna crop it. You can rotate the frame. You can go down here to print settings. You can change the paper size a lot more than you can when you're just printing through iOS. You can even dial in on what type of paper that you're printing on to make the pictures look a little bit better, border or borderless, and what type of color or monochrome, which is black or white or color. It said that I picked that. Do you want to check the online manual for how to replace paper on your printer? So it tells you, you changed the paper. Do you wanna see a manual on how to do that? I don't need to see that. And then you're gonna make sure that you have the right paper loaded. I have a four by six photo paper in there. I'm going to close these paper holders a little bit to hold that paper. And then I'm going to hit print. and it's sending the print job to the printer from the phone. And as that prints, a few moments later, there we go. So there is the photo printed from the phone. This specific paper that I'm using is why you see this border down here. Normally you're not going to see a border on the photo if you have the right paper. I'm using the wrong paper. I'm using an HB paper with a tab, which makes this longer than actually four by six. So that's why it's got that little tab, but I got the paper for very cheap. So that's why I'm using that all up. I'll cut the bottom off of it. You probably won't have that problem, but I figured I would explain it just in case anyone had any questions. That pretty much completes the tutorial. As you can see, there's two easy ways to print from your iOS device, your iPhone or your iPad onto your Canon printer. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, thumbs up for Emma B and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.